Okay, so hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this one, it's going to be a short update video on my game and the progress I made over the last few days. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep doing these every, you know, four or five days or so, um, and then doing tutorial videos in between. Uh, this gives me time to actually work on my own stuff and, you know, not be bogged down with tutorials uh, every single day and then having to do school and everything, so yeah. Um, so. Uh, settings are still to do, but I mean, obviously, as important as it is, I don't value it as important as the other stuff right now. Um, then we'll go into our new game, and here we are. And the first thing you notice is we've got hands. Uh, normally, well, not normally, we, we've not had hands before. Um, we have got hands, and they're rigged, and I'll show you them now, what we've done. So, um, some things I've had to tweak. One is the animator controller that changes whenever we choose an inventory slot. Uh, own, it doesn't change if we are already on uh, the hands. So if we're already on, you know, hands right now, yeah, it doesn't change. So that's fine. Um, it's so that the animation doesn't keep resetting whenever I change between empty slots. And as you see, it's fine. Um, I'll show you each object. So sword. Uh, I don't. I had to delete the attacking animations because I've got to remake them now, um, which is fine. But I've got the equip. So as you see, the actual hand. Uh, is holding the sword, which is pretty cool. Now, as I said, I don't have attack animation, but you know, it it's in the hand and it moves with the hand as the hand's in its like idle state. And obviously, we'll have to swing and everything. It's going to look really cool. Can't wait. That's my priority tomorrow or the day after. Uh, bow. So let's um, go for bow. Obviously, I've just done the same. I've put it in the hand, got the thumb around it. You know, got it like properly holding it. Haven't got an attack yet for it, but it's in there and it's holding properly and it looks better. Yeah, I can still attack with it. Oh, what happened there? That's a bit weird. I think it kind of hit the floor and the player, the enemy at the same time. Oh. Oh, okay. That's really interesting. That wasn't happening a second ago when I was testing. Oh my. Okay, that's that's fun. <laughs> well, let me just fire like a full. See, I, I always f managed, ooh, okay. I always managed to find the most fun bugs when I'm uh, testing. So for some reason, it's obviously it's a collider, the arrow, but it's not, what the hell? That's actually so cool. This this is one of those things where people find bugs and they turn their bugs into mechanics. The fact I can make like a mini game. Now that that arrow kind of bounced and started rotating. Hey, well, I mean, yep, you find the most fun bugs when you're uh, showing off stuff like this. But that's the only bug I found so far, so let's hope there's no more. Um, so health potion, put it in a slot like that one. Scroll to it. Boom. It's in the hand like that. It's holding it. Um, medium health potion. Boom. Holding it. And large health potion. Holding it. So there we go, we've got like idle animations holding the different things like so, which is pretty cool. Um, and obviously we've got the, um, for some reason on that one, uh, wait, what is it that's making the little finger go up and down? Look, huh. that's not actually a bug, that's just, if you look on the right hand, the forefinger is, uh, the ring finger is just moving up and down. It's because uh, of something with the rigging. I, I, I know what it is actually, it's just a keyframe problem in the Unity animator. So. Yeah, whenever I do these videos, I always notice bugs that I don't notice in playtest. I mean, that's why I need playtesters. When I get when it gets to a playable point where there's stuff to do, I will hire or well hire. I'll you know get some people in the Discord server to playtest the game uh, and report back bugs that I need to fix. Because I find you know quite a few on my own, but you, there's always some that go undiscovered unless uh, quite a lot of people play the game. Uh, so this isn't really a bug. It's just a thingy to fix a uh, key keyframe issue. And then there's the arrows. Just for some reason, don't. I don't know what I've changed. I honestly have no idea what I've changed, but hey, uh, it's a bug, so I've got to fix it. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. I'll go look in the logs after this, but I don't think it's an actual code error. It's just a inspector error. Maybe I unchecked a box or something and it doesn't stick, or we'll see. Um, and then magic-wise, there's not really anything I've changed here. I haven't got the uh, equip in hand thing, so um, yeah. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. I mean, as you see, it's all going really weird now. Um, it's to do with it's to do with the equipping in the hands. I I think. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, I also haven't shown arcane missiles. Yeah, look. Okay, so as you can imagine, they're meant to damage the enemy. Uh, now they just kind of follow the enemy and stick to him. Are they on the? They're kind of pushing him. I don't know, but. Yeah, the basic thing of the ability is, you know, you fire off a, bar a bar yeah, barrage of um, things, little missiles, and then if you if they go near the enemy, they uh, home in on them. And it's meant to hit them and deal damage, but nothing seems to want to do damage today. Uh, when I was testing about five minutes ago, it worked, but when you uh, export stuff and run it, it 
generally works different. It's weird. Let's try this. Bang. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. Um, so it recognizes it as an enemy. These just aren't in range. I have uh, changed the range a bit because it was a bit overpowered. Um, yeah, um, that's quite interesting. What one other thing I'm mentioning is each like spell tree is gonna have its own focus. So uh, like the fire tree, which for some reason likes to throw stuff up in the air right now. Uh, the reason it's firing it up is because it's it's firing it in the forward direction of the object, and because the um, actual object currently is positioned really weird. If you look on the mini map, it's actually like right above me. Uh, obviously, I can't look at it because it moves with me. That's just due to the fact that I have to remake all the positions, like for the sword and bow. Um, so, oh, okay. So, so the projectile when it hits the floor works fine. Just make some little particles for it. Yet when they hit the wall, oh, hit the player. Sorry, they just don't. They just okay. That's interesting. I will look into that. But anyway, um, so yeah, we've got the things I've done that I'm just gonna quickly run over again. So we've got player equipping in hands. So we've got like the rigged hands that can like bend the fingers and hold stuff. Uh, obviously needing to fix that one bug with the keyframe. Um, I've got arcane missiles now that like the homing missiles on enemies that <laughs> don't actually, you know killed the guy right now it's pretty weird just collision errors um saving game still works i can load that back up um the bow works obviously as you saw except from the fact that when it hits enemies it, it sticks into walls in the floor but the enemy just doesn't want to doesn't want to die i guess um that might be it and then i can hold potions and just tweak like rotation and position that i hold and i've got the transform as the palm of the hand so that when i have the potion like this and the hand moves it looks like I'm actually holding the potion, which, you know, I just like it a lot. If you look on the minimap, yeah, the hands are just, like, detached from the player, but that's just how it works in a lot of games, actually. I might change that on the minimap. I mean, eventually, on the minimap, it's not going to be the player. It's going to be, like, an arrow or something, and I'll just hide the player on there, so it's fine. Um, but, yeah, I'm really liking how it's coming along. Obviously, made a lot of progress in the last, like, day or so. It's small progress overall, but big progress uh, in a short amount of time. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep working on it. I've got this weekend's pretty free, so... We'll get a lot more done, and I guess I'll do another update video maybe on Sunday um, when I've like finished um, for the weekend and I've got a lot done. So I uh, look forward to that. Um, obviously, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this content and you want to see my tutorials or more of these videos or the game update, then obviously subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified. Uh, join the Discord server to uh, take part in the community. Obviously, you can see updates there. We all talk about Unity and Discord and well, Discord bots and coding and nerds and. Yeah, so uh, join the Discord. That's the best marketing uh, that I've ever done. So anyway, uh, there's not more, not much more else to say. I've got some bugs to fix, uh, though I'm going to go to sleep. So got some bugs to fix tomorrow. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, thanks for those that actually like stick around and watch these update videos because I know um, some people only come for the tutorials, but some actually like to see the progress I make in my own game. And uh, I'm just liking how it's coming along, so I hope you do too. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.